Yet another power supply unboxing. It seems like I'm doing a lot of these lately, but there's a good reason for it. The reason is that power supplies are sort of one of the more interesting things that you can put in your computer. I mean, with a processor, they like all look the same. Whereas power supplies, I mean, they all have kind of a distinctive look to them. They have a distinctive feature set. So today I have the Antec True Power. This is the True Power new, as opposed to the True Power old, because True Power has been around forever as a, as a brand name for Antec. So, ugh. what makes it new? First of all, is it is 80 plus bronze. So that means it's slightly better than 80 plus regular. It's also SLI ready, and it has a little green energy efficient leaf on it, so that's very nice to see. It has advanced hybrid cable management, so that's Antec's way of saying that the power supply is modular, okay? And it has a 120 millimeter PWM fan. Now, let's go around to the back. Double piece, double layer PCB, optimizes cooling efficiency, and allows for heavy duty components, advanced hybrid, this, that, or the other. Okay, why don't we get this out of the box, and we will have a look at all of the things that they are telling us about on the back. So, unlike the Earthwatt series of power supplies from Antec, which is only modular at the very high end on the 750 watt the true power lineup is modular from the 550 all the way up to the 750 and the 750 blue now unlike their true power quattro lineup the true power new series uses a 120 millimeter fan whereas the quattro actually uses an 80 millimeter fan still for design reasons that i'm not quite sure that i understand and here we go i got the box open so this is what it looks like all packed inside in antex green packaging so you can see they're using like recycled paper as opposed to styrofoam or something else that's going to destroy the earth faster than necessary. All right, so inside we will find a power cord, okay? Just your standard PC power cord. We will find a baggie of modular cables, okay? So we'll get to those after, I guess. We'll find what looks like an instruction manual or some kind of... It's a product overview, okay? So it tells you all about your power supply, what connectors it has on it. It tells you... Um, in Spanish, a bunch of languages that I can't even pronounce. And, oh, in English, excellent, English is there, cool. Thanks for that. All right, and then we have the power supply itself. Yeah, that was, wow. Not a whole lot in terms of, oh yeah, there we go, we've got screws, four screws, so you can mount your power supply to your case. Awesome. So we take off the little paper sleeve that holds on the little paper clamshell, and there, like there is, I unboxed an Earthwatts a while back and it came in a similar package to this and putting it back was like utterly hopeless. I couldn't believe how difficult it was to put back. I mean, most people when they're unboxing a power supply aren't really too worried about when they have to box it back up, but oh, it was a nightmare. Anyway, the finish on the True Power New is just kind of your standard matte black power supply finish. It comes with a couple fingerprints on it. I'm not sure how much I like that, but the reality of it is when you buy a product, somebody touched it at some point. It was manufactured, it was packaged. These things are just a, a reality of the computer industry and pretty much any industry. So on the side here, we can find the basic specs. It has a little blue sticker. That's really nice. And then it has Da, 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 da. Three 12 volt rails at 22, 22, and 25 amps maximum power output each. And then here we go, we can do a maximum of 54 amps combined on the three 12 volt rails. So the total output power is 650 watts, and that pretty much covers what we got on the side. We got all of our certifications. I mean, that's something Antec is very careful about. They make sure that all of their safety stuff is in line. And yeah, at the back, okay, we don't have the, the honeycomb mesh that seems like everyone else uses. It's more like a square mesh. Okay, so that's a little bit different looking right there. And then on the other side, we find a little stamped Antec logo, and that's pretty much all. And then on the bottom, we will find that 120 millimeter PWM fan, kind of a stylish looking black sticker on it. Okay, so you can see downwards into the power supply, if you can see that. I'm not really sure if you can see that at all. Now let's have a look at what connectors are included on the True Power New 650 watt. So, oh, I hate these reusable zip ties. If you've seen me complain about them before, then you'll know that I complain about them. Um, you know what, something I do want to point out about this power supply that I don't really like is the sleeving. You see how this is like a colored sleeve and besides that you can see like right through it as soon as you do anything with it. It's 
Actually, you know what? This one's a better example. There. That is a black sleeve, and that is very clearly full of black and yellow cables. Actually, the BFG uh, GS series power supply I unboxed recently, even though it was a far more budget power supply, and quite honestly not as good a quality a unit, it did have better sleeving on it. Okay, so the first one we got, Antec always has reasonably long 24 pin power connectors because they were the ones who pioneered the whole power supply on the bottom thing with the P180. So the 8 pin and the 24 pin, they're always very careful about that. So you got a pretty good length 24 pin power connector. Then you have a couple of uh, 4 pin and 8 pin power connectors. So once again, same thing. These are reasonably long, so if you have your power supply mounted in the bottom, you should be able to reach up to, your, uh, to the top of the motherboard just fine with that 8 pin and to the side and, or edge of the motherboard just fine with that 24 pin. In here we have... Oh, I kind of like this. I kind of like it when uh, manufacturers do this this way. Because so many people are actually using two PCI Express connectors on one graphics card these days, you can see Antec has gone ahead and just thrown the two PCIe connectors, an 8 pin and a 6 pin, on one cable. So it's as simple as plugging them in next to each other, which is so often where you're going to find it, and running away with it like that. In fact, if you do have two to uh, two graphics cards. You can put them as much as this far apart, which looks like about four slots, which is the most you're really going to see, and you just have to run one cable up to your graphics card. Bravo, I like that. Okay, next thing we've got here is a one set of Molex connectors. Okay, so this one has three four-pin Molex connectors, just like that, and then it has one additional floppy connector, and you can see the spacing sort of. These are really long quite long, you'll be able to reach whatever it is you need to reach with them. Then we've got three SATA connectors on one cable. Alright, so two right angle ones and then one straight straight one. And these again are quite long. And then we get into the modular cables. So the modular cables that are included will plug into either... Here we go... Ah. They will plug into either these red modular plugs or they will plug into the black ones. Now the black ones are on 12 volt rail 1 and they are for Hold on a second, I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. This is a four rail power supply, I'm sorry. They're rated at 22, 22, 25, and 25. Sorry, I just, I saw this label here, and I love it when they label things this way, because you can see here, if you're plugging into these two, you're plugging into 12 volt rail one. If you're plugging into this one, it's 12 volt rail three. And if you plug into this one, it's 12 volt rail four. So they label that out for you, that's really nice. And either one of these can accept either a six pin or an eight pin PCI Express, or it could also accept one of the hard drive plugs. Okay, and these ones though are for hard drives only. Okay, so if I can just get this this pack open, then I would be able to show you what all of the modular cables look like. Okay, now something that we, that are we, I notice right away about this is that there are more modular cables than there are modular connectors on the power supply itself. And what you can tell is that Antec, unlike some manufacturers, hasn't missed the point of a modular power supply. The point is that it gives you options. So you can see that with the, uh, with the two included three connector SATA cables, you could actually plug in nine hard drives to this power supply. Say you don't need any other Molex connectors, well there you go, you just do that. Or say you have a bunch of legacy Molex devices and you need to use those. So here we've got three Molex on that one, we've got three Molex on that one, so you could plug in a potential of Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, nine Molex devices as well as a floppy device. And then for the final connector we have here, it, this is a red one, and you've got another 6-pin or 6 plus 2-pin PCI Express. Gives you a ton of different options. I'm not sure, based on the package that's included with the 650-watt power supply, why they've bothered to include two that are compatible with PCIe. I mean, maybe you can buy additional cables, but even then, you probably shouldn't be powering three GPUs on a 650 watt power supply. Either way, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Antec TP650.